Hey! The spaceman has returned, and we're talking to the sheriff. After murdering a bunch of questionably corrupt... Hey, that kid's not there anymore. What'd they do with him? Hey, we never keep folks but in these cells for long. Hillary's with them. Ah, oh, that kid got pilloried. Nice to see the city back to life, huh? Yeah, people are shopping and building. Well, all right. I, like I don't know how this is going to go. It's going to take months to recruit enough new marshals to replace the ones we lost, though. Yeah. Sheriff Daisy. Tell me it ain't true, Rangers. You worked out some kind of shady deal with Brigo? Yep. Brago wasn't responsible for the Dorsey attack. McTavish was the real traitor. Bullshit. McTavish took the fall for his boss. Ain't no way Brago isn't balls deep in this mess, no matter what he says. Hmm. And what about the part where you killed that fat-ass Lipinski? He knew you'd let Brago off the hook, didn't he? Probably tried to stop you so you shot him dead. Yeah, he was looking for a fight. No. It was Brago or him. And you took the wrong side. I thought I was pretty clear about how all this was supposed to go down. Real clear. Eh. Easy now, Daisy. The Patriarchs invested a lot in these folks. You don't want to... Shut your hole, Quan. Don't make me ask you where you were when they shot Lipinski. Might have been an idiot, but he was still a marshal. He was corrupt as fuck. We're done here. I'll find some other way to take down your pal Brigo, and it won't include you. Yeah. You know where to find the door. Alright, bye. Oh, a bunch of us leveled too. Cool. Yay! Melee! Yeah, I gotta be better at meleeing. Armor modding. There we go. Oh, and I get a perk. Nice. Alright. So. Strunk. More strunk. More strunk. Let's get more strunk. More speed. Hmm. That's a tough one. A lot more con. Let's do that. I'm going to be getting shot at a lot, so. Ooh. Yeah, that was a lot of con. All right. I think this means I can take that. Yeah, stunning blow. Simply stunning. Oh yeah, I was gonna hold off on on getting uh, two AP bonus. Yeah, I don't know. I think demoralize is probably a better use of my my stuff, or just killing people. Stunning blow. Let's do that. Cool. All right, now we're leveling up, Quan. All right. Yeah, let's do awareness. He's mostly ranged, so. All right. Let's do... Oh, why does he also have sneaky shit? Let's do kiss ass and uh, toaster repair. Okay. Alright.
Yeah, so old lady's not happy. But I got her dude back without shooting up the whole place, so. Whatever. What's next? I got a full house. Unwelcome guests. Oh yeah, let's head back there. Get the stank off me. <laughs> Well, I threw in with a bunch of criminals. Because I didn't want to shoot up a bunch of criminals. Rooms in Ranger HQ, no one knows how to enter. Yeah. I know that life. The whole secret base business. Alright. Let's go find us a medic. Check out that new armory, maybe. Oh, yeah. Where's uh, Private Bell? been injured since forever. Who is this dude? Hey, who's in charge in here? Gary You're Nackle? the CO around here? Huh. Okay. Yep. Quality setup this time. Better than back in AZ. Guess Daddy Buchanan's buying you all the good gear. You've been to Ranger Citadel? I helped the Rangers during their whole Cochise debacle. They might have come out strong if they'd listened to me. Too bad. Ah, uh, who are you? Gary Wolf, freelance security consultant and synth hunter. Got a proposition for you. What do you want? After the Rangers nuked Cochise and themselves, I figured somebody competent had to chase down its mechanical brood. So I recruited folks who'd lost family to synths, and I formed a posse. Decommissioned a dozen of the plastic punks in AZ. Then heard a feud headed east and followed them here. Now I'm getting flack from that tin star twat Daisy for exchanging fire with the synth we tracked to Colorado Springs. That's where you come in. Interfering bitch told the marshals to shoot us on sight if we stepped inside the city limits again. So we can't go after this October 11 synth. Was hoping you might be interested in taking care of it for us. Cash bounty for its head. Ah, uh, what's so bad about synths? Jesus, you're not one of those, are you? <laughs> Fucking simps are always talking about how synths are sentient. They have feelings. Bullshit. That's how they trick you. Synths are just top-grade robots. What makes them dangerous is that every one of them has a little piece of Cochise in their electric brain, like a virus. And if you leave them alone for too long, that virus spreads. And pretty soon we have the goddamn robot apocalypse all over again. Yay. Not on my watch. We cap them as soon as we see them. Don't give them a chance to talk. Uh, tell us about Cochise. Are you kidding me? Cochise is the Rangers' greatest enemy, a supercomputer that almost exterminated them twice, and which built an army of synths to kill every last human on Earth. Rangers aren't training their recruits at all these days, are they? Uh, the synth is called October 11. Yeah, no idea why. Synths are weird that way. It and another synth called Tourmaline caged some sieves on their way here, just for kicks. So watch yourselves. Mm. Eleven is a stone killer. Gotta be neutralized before it kills again. And killing it will help us find its comrades. How will killing this October 11 help us find others? All synths got a radio in their heads. 
lets them communicate long distance and triangulate on each other. Once I crack Eleven's head open, I'll hack it for their locations. You want to go after the others too? I'll make it worth your time. Hmm. Uh, why did Daisy ban you from hunting in Colorado Springs? We cornered Eleven downtown and tried to take it out quietly. But there was a snafu and we had to open fire. Of course Shot up did. the street. Wounded some sieves. Silly bitch wouldn't listen when I warned her about the synth. Acted like we were the problem and sent us packing. Fuck her. Hey now, that's my ex-boss you're talking about, Hoss. Lucky you quit then. She's a frag candidate for sure. Jesus, dude. All right, we'll add this runaway synth to our list. <laughs> add it to your list? Ought to be your top priority. Whatever. We'll wait here until you bring back its head. Should still be downtown somewhere. You'll know you're near it when you start hearing weird static on your radio. All right. Squad, at ease. Rangers. Guessing it's gonna be tough getting that Valor kid out of Denver in one piece, but it's gotta be done. <clears throat> Come say hey when you're free. Oh, there you are. Hey, I'm feeling much better now. Ready to help out any way I can. Are you happy with how things are going so far? Uh, it's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine, I guess. Not really inspiring anybody, but that's not really our job, is it? Our job is to save the folks back home, and... Well, I'm pretty sure we'll get there. We could try harder, though. Yeah, we're limping along. You bet! Ready when you are! Oh, she's a sniper and a mechanic. I kind of already have a mechanic. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Toaster repair. Driver. Yeah, I'm gonna hold off on that, I guess. Uh, yeah, actually, let me... Go talk to the doc. Hey, Irv. Hi, Rangers. How you Thanks doing, Thanks again buddy? for letting me work for you. This is so exciting. I... I am so happy. I'm learning so much. All my life, I wanted to be a scientist. But all I could do was read the books and dream... Now I can actually do things. Yeah, things. It's incredible. Incredible. What do you think of Doc Parker? He's wonderful. He's almost as smart as Dr. Finster, but without all the, um, you know, evil. <laughs> True that. Ah, uh, what are you working on? Oh, an amplifier that goes to 11. <laughs> nice Spinal Tap reference, bro. Can you clone one of us? Uh, yes, theoretically. <laughs> I can have the machine take your genetic material and run the process, uh, but um, no guarantee what comes out the other end. Yeah, I'll pass I did then. make a few tweaks to the process though, so whatever it is, it probably won't be so angry. Probably. Yeah, never mind. That's probably a good idea. <laughs> Thanks, sir. So long. Thank you, Rangers. You saved my life. What's on here? Um, well, so I brought my clone machine with me. Goodbye and good luck. Thanks. All right. I need heals. What do you need, Rangers? 
I would like to be patched. That's what up. you pay me for. Have a seat. Yay! Healed. Do you have any hmm. supplies? I brought a few things over from the garage. Not much All yet. Alright, let's but... just, uh. Yeah, let's sell some junk. And we will stock up on a few of these. I don't need that many of them. I'm just thinking more like 10 of them. Yeah, let's grab 10 of them. Alright, I think the are Oh, yeah, antidotes. Let's just grab a few of those. I have a lot of fucking money. Didn't notice that. Alright. We're good here. Actually, I want to break down some more weapons. Uh, oh yeah, the battle rifle. Do I wanna... Oh, I can take stuff off of him. Okay, I'm pretty sure it like just goes with him though. Yeah, this is better for him. So let's give him the battle rifle. She's got her revolver. Do I have a better revolver? No. Yeah, this does a fuck of damage. Yeah, let's uh, field strip. How oh, does Lucia have that? Uh, yeah. Oh, right. Coach gun, auto shotgun. That's better. All right. Oh yeah, I have an extra brand. Let's field strip it. Uh, definitely not using flamethrowers. Okay, we can't field strip armor. I Okay. <laughs> this place. What the hell was Joey thinking setting us up with this straight job bullshit? <laughs> yeah, we ought to be out doing things. Yeah, big things. Yeah, planning a job or something. Getting some serious money. You said it. A real payday. None of this penny any range of pigeon. Uh, Good luck out there. What is with you? Talk to Joe. This is Joey. Joey Bag of Donuts. Hey, I'm Joey Bag of Donuts. <laughs> and Mr. Brigo sent me down, you know, as thanks for helping him out with his uh, trouble. <laughs> All right. Apparently, I'm supposed to be your new armory guy. That's good. You know, I know my way around this stuff. How'd you get this gig, anyway? Well, you know, though he is an honest businessman and an upstanding citizen, Mr. Brigo has more than his share of uh, enemies, which means that he needs uh, bodyguards. And those bodyguards need uh, tools, yeah? <laughs> so, yeah, he had yeah, been doing business it. with me, a simple freelance gunsmith, but he got tired of waiting for me to finish up work for other clients. So he decided to employ me full time. Find, clean, and service guns for him, and only him. Since then, I've been a made man and do whatever Mr. Brigo wants. And right now, he wants me to find, clean, and service guns for you. And only you. Sweet deal, right? Hell yeah. Care to tell us a little bit more about yourself? Nah, it's my favorite subject. 
I'm the son of a son of a son of a gunmaker, and I'm proud of carrying on the family trade. Back in Vegas, the Bucket Donuts name has been synonymous with the finest quality <laughs> gun since before the war. Okay. Whenever anybody's plucked anybody else in Vegas for the last hundred years, you can bet that a bag of donuts <laughs> was part of it. And now that Mr. Brigo is in Colorado, I'm hoping to continue that tradition here. All right, what have you got in stock? Let me show you. All right, you got a big hammer for me? I want a big old hammer. Doesn't look like it. Just, oh, scorpion. Laser shotgun, yeah! Jackknife, jawbreakers. EMP grenade, nice. Alright, actually. Oh, yeah, let's sell the junk. Alright, that's not a lot of. <laughs> uh, do you got armor in your. Yeah, he does have armor in the armory. Okay. That, yeah, that requires. Huh, should I give her that? Or don't I have that, don't I? Yeah, she's got the Tommy gun. Thompson submachine gun, if you will. What is this? Rattler semi-auto pistol. Lever action repeater. RPG-7. Nice. Always a classic. It's a motherfucking laser shotgun. What more could you want? Yeah, I don't want the bone crusher. Uh, actually, yeah, what's this dude have? He is this, which is 54 to 75. Oof, 60. That is a much better damaging weapon. Yeah, both use 30 out 6. Uh, what do I... I don't have any sniper rifles in here. Hi, do I? Alright, I think I might actually pick that up for that dude. Any equipment? Yeah. Sniper rifles for? Might as well. Ah. Uh, yeah, you can't use that. Oh, that uses spikes. Alright. Yeah, maybe I'll pick that up for later. Just so someone's using all these damn spikes. I'll get him a scout rifle. How much is that? 312. Alright. I'm be really mad if I loot a sniper rifle like immediately after I buy this. Alright. Let's get him situated. Uh, where are we at? Scout rifle. Shazam. Nice. Cool, 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 cool. I know ammo. Yeah, let's get him a semi auto. What's that? Oh, yeah, that's it. Okay, there we go. They're both AP3, so. Leave them where they're at. Alright. Ah, that's AP4. That's fine. So, now his small arms are, uh. Animal Whisperer! Spirit Animal. What does that do? Better passive bonuses! Fantastic. <laughs> I 
Let us depart. Oh, let's see what's up with the computer. And I think there's a toaster we gotta find. Under officer's log, you find a number of improperly formatted entries. idea what that just said. Oh, yeah. This is... That's the lady with the head wound, right? Yeah, how is she holding you up? You know all those people I was patching up downtown. There is one man responsible for all that bloodshed. Nellius Dorsey. Yes. What do you need, Rangers? Ah, uh, never mind. I don't mind not having to clean the suit. Alright, where was that toaster? There it is. I see you, toaster. Yes! Fix it. Nice. Toaster Baron's badge. Yes. <laughs> well, you know what you're getting, buddy. <laughs> you got a Marshall's badge, and oh, you still got the freaking yellow snow that you've never used. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll give you a proper grenade. How about that? Grenades, yo. like uh, useless <laughs> all right oh I got hit with a snowball is that what happened jerks right, this okay so yeah every every increase is just a flat bonus to Leadership. Give him the finger. Weird science. <laughs> it feels good to melt people with solid scientific principles. That it does. That it does. Oh man, both of these are really awesome. Blood spore. Right. Private long, private fish. Oh yeah, this how's McTavish doing? I do not like the way you've been treated, but you are directly responsible for letting the Dorseys into the city. And if Baron Brigo jumped off a bridge, would you jump off one too? Never mind. Just be glad the Rangers picked you up and not the Marshals, or else you know where you'd be. Do it on my neck. These are like the worst jail cells. You can literally just climb over them. A rogue synth wandering around downtown is definitely cause for concern. I think we'd all feel safer if it were in a prison cell. Good luck out there. What's this button? Ah. 
I read all this. Okay. Oh. How did I miss this? <laughs> Pickles. So I guess we're going back downtown to deal with the synth. Are there anything I missed in here? Ah. Wow. Meanwhile, in the roof garden of the Hotel Pimlico, Roger Mayhew was raising a glass to his betrothed. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is the museum. Yeah, that was the other thing I wanted to check. All right. Time to make this place shine. Grab a mop and let's get to work. A mop? <laughs> I'm a ranger. You're a ranger who was assigned to me. Get going. Join the rangers, they said. A life of adventure, they said. Nuts. Hey, rangers! Hope you like what I've done with the space. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, nice. She moved all her stuff here. Robot mascots of pre-war PSAs, Peek and Poke, were meant to show the right and wrong ways of preparing for the end <laughs> of the world. Each vignette humorously contrasted Noble Peek's forethought and generosity, and Poke's short-sightedness and greed. Since the deluge, the billboards have been often modified by survivalists, who change the art and the message to suit the times, resulting in a darker humor than the original creators ever intended. Peek shares ammo with his squad before a battle. Poke steals ammo from his squad before a battle and loots their corpses after. <laughs> Great. Whatever. I don't care. It's fine. What do we have up here? Oh, yeah. What's here? Oh, Kit Boodle. <laughs> Bent actuator. Pocket dock. Alright. Okay. I think we're ready to head back into the city. Let's talk to the homeless people. Like in the Patriarchs Museum in downtown. Isn't that how you get down? Hey, can I borrow your mirror again? Sure, whatever you need. Thanks. I appreciate it. No problem. People are people. And sometimes they need help. That's what the rangers do, right? Help people? Allegedly. Sure. Oh, did all this. Careful out there. It's an uncaring world. Yup. Who wants to be a science person? Science unlocked. I don't want to be a science. Okay. Alright. What's next? We got brig jailer, med bay doctor, armory quartermaster, and garage mechanics. 
we're pretty much... Okay, well, I don't know what else to... What is this bulls? Oh yeah, find the, the synth. Yeah, alright, let's do that. Stay sharp. I do what I want. Why is that red? Alright. Yep, traveling downtown. Let's find that synth. All right. Ah, oh, the marshals are mad at us. Disliked. Great. Oh yeah, those are those robots. Okay. Read the last issue. Mom. Mom? Sorry. Never mind. What? Why? What do you want? I, I don't know. I, I hurried here as quick as I could after, but... No, Do you need please, help? I just need you to go away. Please, there... There was this smiling lady. She said she had some food. And I could take some back to my mom if I came with her. And next thing I know... She was gonna sell me. She put me in a cat. One of her men took me out of the... I kicked him as hard as I could and ran. They didn't find me in the dark. And then I saw some refugees and stayed with them till I got here. Uh, That's messed but... up. Alright, where's the synth? Would you rather freeze to death or burn? <laughs> ah, I can't go that way. Okay. Shoot out a little Vegas! Off duty marshal slain! Alright, this place open. <laughs> what you got? Look, Martha, it's our friends who helped us save the shop. What can I do for you? We've got some discounts with your name on them. Make me look pretty. Hardly a crossword between us. Uh, what do you got for sale? Show me the stuff. Alright, ragtag outfit. Oh, nice. I'm buying the outfits. Oh, that is cool. That's good. Yeah, let me get the. Let's 
scrap armor. Scrap pants. Alright. Bye. Bye. Alright, where's that synth? Maybe I'll join the Marshals. I do like roughing people up. You get drummed out in a second, you crackpot. I'm sure they could use my help. trash already. What happened with this guy? Oh no. Alright, I'm not, not listening to that. The Taiwan Jones's Emporium. My store has sardine lean. Sardine lean. It was right. I want that big hammer. Its timing belt broke, so it uh vibrates. Oh, I have just enough. What's this? Oh, flamethrower. Ah, oh. SWAT rifle. Alright, got that hammer. When I can get it, you know. <laughs> I have nine dollars. That's cool. No admittance. Museum is closed. Sorry. No admittance. Museum is closed. They are inside there, aren't they? Ugh, stupid animatronics. This is like every horror movie ever.
with the families behind him saw went to war and fought all the monsters of Satan's bazaar. He lined them all up and he cut them all down to flap the inhaler surrendered his crown. He can his fair flab and made him a deal. If your boys were for me, they'll never miss a meal. Flap signed up on the dotted. The hundred families came to see O Springs and all fell to fighting over frivolous things till Saul raised their heads to the surface. There it is. My microwave. I've got some real treats I couldn't send. Sure Goodbye. Thing. Again, here to learn more about. Leave me. Oh, I'm leaving. You got business with Mama Carter? Uh, yes. Ha! No, you don't. Come back when you do. Until then, scram. <laughs> okay. Let's hope you got another career plan. I give it another three months before Payson leaves you in the dust. And so what if she does? It just means I gotta work harder. What can Jimmy I do Long for you? The best in Colorado Springs, no lie. He was the Patriarch's personal physician for a while. Took care of all the hoity toits in Broadmoor Heights, too. Kind of pissed us off at the time, actually. Nice Arapaho boy taking care of the hemorrhoids of the hundred families and turning his back on his own people. Brutal. Came home in the end, though. Remembered who he was and set up his clinic here. Been serving the working people of Colorado Springs ever since. And now he works for me. Anything for your vehicle. Have I'm a look. Of joining the next supply run. <laughs> have some of my experiments will hold up in the field. That crew'd be lucky to have you. Well, we'll see. Hopefully, nothing will go Ten wrong. Ten-four, good buddy. What's your twenty? <laughs> All right. Where the hell is that stupid synth? Are they in the museum? Ah. They gotta be in the museum. Alright. 
Yeah, as soon as I walk in here, it goes crazy. This is the fucking bird. Youngest son of the Buchanan oh. clan. Baby Saul grew straight like a tree. Could swing a sledgehammer before he was three. Well, the Dorseys thought they had a better idea. Believed they could rule by murder and fear. Tried to steal Colorado from our patriarch. But old Saul proved his bite was worse than his bark. Drove out the Dorseys and gave their land to the poor and the needy and the Indians. So mercy for the merciless was his stand. So he hunted the Dorseys to the very last man. Is Buchanan a man? The truest of men, you could say that again. Then came the gangs of the Eastern Plains, hoping to rob us of our worldly gain. Saw Saul coming and he rolled up his sleeves, and you're rolled up the pack of thieves. Maybe it's not there, maybe it's here. Yeah, let's check it out. Alright. Do you like my cats? None of them are spayed or neutered. Great. Oh, God. Fix it. Huh. All right. I'm going to give her nerd stuff, right? Yeah. She can hack things. Oh, wait. And an attribute. Uh, awareness, yeah. For that range damage. I mean, I could max her out here. Let's do that. Cyborg chicken. Come with us if you want to live. <laughs> Fantastic. Nineteen eleven. It's chambered in nine mil for some reason. Nice. Stuff I already have.
I just have a bunch of animals following me. Okay. Fuck off. Hey, Frank. Huh? Get the fuck out of my apartment. Okay. Bye, Frank. What do you mean, out of range? You're right here. Pick it. There. Rainbow tables used to break encryption. What? Need space demons intercepted. Display rendered objects and assigned to translation vectors. Uh, thanks. Alert. Do not delete local references to object. If memory allocation is null, then unhandled exception occurs. Okay. Return null. Why? why what? Man. This game makes no sense. I'm just breaking into people's apartments, so, you know, whatever. Give me a booze box. Well, there was booze in it. Oh yeah, let me get this toaster. That sound. Yes! Sized and weighted like a heavy machine gun, but glowy and zappy like something from space. Excellent. <laughs> Where'd it go? There it is. Look at this thing. Oh, that's not what I want to compare. Where, where'd it go? Everything's moving on me. Where did my zappy space gun go? Oh, there we go. The Argon Lance. Look at that. <laughs> That's fantastic. Alright. Synth isn't in here. Okay. I'm going to take a quick break. And then I will be back, and we'll find that stupid synth. Alright. See you soon. <laughs>